This is the origin story of petroleum, as told by the systems education experience. Petroleum is the fossil fuel that we use to turn into gasoline, kerosene, and diesel oil. Petroleum is a mixture of hydrocarbons and can be found in certain rock strata and extracted and refined into the products we use for energy. But where does petroleum really come from? It all began long ago, just after the Earth formed, which was around 4.6 billion years ago. The Earth was extremely hot with a molten surface. Volcanoes were erupting and the atmosphere was mostly composed of carbon dioxide with no oxygen. Fast forward to around 3.4 billion years ago. The Earth has finally cooled off and has some liquid water on its surface. Around 2.7 billion years ago, the first photosynthetic bacteria arrived. These photosynthesizers, known as cyanobacteria, are still around today. We have them to thank for Earth, the Earth's major increase in atmospheric oxygen. In fact, the first rock evidence of atmospheric oxygen shows up around 2.4 billion years ago. More photosynthesizing microbes evolved in the next few billion years and started to transform the Earth's atmosphere so that it went from having no oxygen to around 20% today. So why do we care about all these photosynthesizers and other microorganisms? Aren't we supposed to be learning about petroleum? Well, all those microbes millions of years ago eventually died. Since the Earth cooled off and photosynthetic bacteria evolved, we have had around 2.65 billion years of cells dying and accumulating. After they died, they sunk to the bottom of the ocean or decomposed on land and got covered up by sand and silt. Now to see what happens, we need to jump forward in time. Whoosh. Millions of years have passed, and now all these photosynthesizers and microorganisms have decomposed, and thanks to a lot of added pressure and heat beneath the Earth's crust, they have transformed into the oil and gas deposits we use today, the petroleum we extract. So we have a large accumulation of dead microbes and photosynthesizers that through heat and pressure and a lot of time have become the oil and gas deposits extracted. So in the ocean and also on land, we have oil rigs set up, kind of like this one. And what they do is they dig deep and they extract the oil and gas deposits to make petroleum. They then refine. Every time you fill up at the pump, you are putting billions of years old photosynthesizers and microbes into your vehicle, probably not what you imagined. When that vehicle burns the petroleum, that's when carbon trapped in those reserves is released in the form of CO2. So what now? There are a few obstacles we face by using petroleum for fuel. The Earth's population is still growing exponentially with about 7.6 billion people today. We also have an increased demand for fossil fuels because of all these people. And because of that, we have an increased amount of CO2 in our atmosphere, about 400 parts per million. This all leads to one thing. We have a very confused Earth. It's experiencing changes it's never experienced before. We have seen this in recent unexpected weather patterns and natural disasters. So what can we do to help reduce our use of petroleum and burning of fossil fuels? What we can do is use the photosynthetic organisms now to help make fuel. Biofuel could be the answer to our dwindling supply of ancient microbes and large CO2 emissions. The possibility is exciting and will hopefully be coming soon to a car near you. Thank you for your attention and stay tuned for another video where we explore how biofuels are actually made.